what's up guys what's up what's up what's up everybody youtube friends and everybody well today i'm just making a short video right this is not really a fishing video it's something to do with fishing but it's not a fishing video it's not catching a lot of fish today all right so we're just making a a, a, a small a short video showing you guys how to make a snap latch some people call it a snap swivel but i just call it a snap latch because i don't really use swivel on my own all right so the other day, you know, I was fishing out by uh, Port Royal side and some guys saw me and wrote the snap latch and this is a snap latch, right? And they asked me where they can get it to buy. I told them I'll make my own and they asked me to make some for them. But, you know, I just tell them to watch the channel because I don't know where you're going to see them to make this snap latch for them, right? So I told them to just watch the channel and I'll show them, I'll show you guys, I'll show everybody how to make this, how I make this snap latch for myself. Alright. So you guys just stick around, watch the channel. All you need is just a few tools. It's very simple to make. So don't go anywhere. We soon come back. This is what we're gonna make today. Alright? Can you see this? I have to hold it with a pliers, you know, because it is just so small and I want you guys to see it. Alright, so don't go anywhere, I still come back. Alright, this is what you need now guys, you need a pliers, a cotton pliers, it's a bird beak pliers, a cotton pliers, and this is another bird beak, right? We might need this one to do something, right? These are all the tools that you need. And for now you need a piece of ginger wire. This is 215 pound, 218 pound test ginger wire. I don't like to use anything smaller than this because this is a little bit thinner than this. They like the 100 pounds, a little bit thinner. The 200 pounds, a little thinner. So I use 218 pounds, which is this wire. See it here? You see it? 218 pounds. Right? And this is called stainless steel leader wire. Right? That is what I'm going to use. Alright, so we'll just grab these pliers. And what we do now is that we pull it like a a little about inch and a half in and then I bend it like this all right I go back this way again and I bend it again like this all right so you have you have this little thing right here all right so all right if you if you want to use swivel you can put the swivel right along here and put it onto that all right but we're not using any swivel so we'll just use it like this one so you go like this now and yet you wrap it you wrap it just like you're bending it in a leader one two it's about two times all right that is what you have right here all right guys see what you have right there what we do now is just clip off the excess the tag him right here we're gonna clip it off right here And then we just use the pliers to hold it like this. And then we just clean it up here. Okay. Then you take your pliers now and you hold it right there. Give it about 5 eighths of an inch. And you bend it again. Alright. So you bend it like that. You just use your hand and bend it like that now. Just so you get the curve like that. Right? Can give it pliers to set it up a little better, see there? Alright? And then you're gonna do this now, right? Alright, that is what you have right there. This camera not focusing properly but hope you guys can see that. Alright? Right. Then you're gonna hold it again with the same pliers. You're gonna hold it right here. And then you're gonna bend it up the stand like that. Oops. Right? But you can use another pliers. Right? You're gonna add that. You do that. And then you have that now. Right? See that? You put it up a little bit closer. And you have that. Alright? Then you hold it now with the same with this little bird beak pliers, you're gonna hold it. Like this. 
like that right here and then use this end and bend it back over right so you bend it like over like what you have there now see that see that and then you're going to clip off a little piece of this right here look at this you're just going to clip off a little piece right here This is what you have right here now. Let me show you. I can hold it to this pliers and show you. See there? And you just hold it with the pliers and just bend this down a little bit. Right? Bend this down a little bit like that. And then you can take your pliers now and straighten it up. Fix it the way you want it. So there you go, guys. We call this a snap latch. Right? Pretty simple, pretty easy. Some people might say, boy, why go through the trouble and make this? But I like to be creative. I like to try a lot of things for myself. And this wire, I use this wire because it's very, very strong. You can catch all a hundred pound top on with this clip. Right? It doesn't make sense to make a smaller one and then you catch a top on or a big snook or a big jack. Then they, they, they break the, the, the latch and get away. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like. Let me show you, see there now, you just go like this and open the latch. You clip it back together. There you go. You can either attach it to your lower, this is your lower. Alright? You can either attach it to your lower like this. Alright, you put it onto your lower, like that. You can either attach it to your lower like that. Right? And your leader and your leader go onto this and, and attach it attach it to your main line. You can attach it like that. And I never normally recommend it like this because sometimes you catch a big top on or a big kingfish or a big snook. And somehow when you're fighting the fish, this latch go alongside the bait like this. And squeeze up on the the on the, the, the latch and it pull the latch and then you, you lose the fish. Right? I never normally recommend it like this. What I do, I normally I normally recommend it like this. Right? You put on your, your line from your rod on this end. And then you put on your leader. You put the swivel on there. Put on your leader. Right down to your bait, to your lower. Alright? And this is how I use it. I'm pretty sure you guys see this lower already in action, you know. Yeah, man. <laughs> the golden usury, alright? Alright guys, so I hope you guys learned something from this video now. And as always guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Fish on.